still part of the industry, stay involved, do some travelling, to help some younger riders, I don't really know, but I'd always, I'd always stay involved, but uh, to match him would be great, and uh, what do you all think? Yeah. Go great. <laughs> There's a few John McGuess fans in. <laughs> he scrubbed us from the Falls Road in Belfast, you know. He <laughs> is? He was. He, got? <laughs> he was a horrible bastard. <laughs> 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 he's, he's got the Irish blood. That's where the McGuinness comes from, yeah. yeah. Tommy. <laughs> Mike, let me just ask you a wee bit about what you're doing now. You're working with Norton, developing the, the, the Norton factory racer. You did the 130 mile an hour lap last year at the TT. How far away do you think it is from winning the TT race? I think with either John, Hutchie or Michael on it, it would win. Um, and I've just got to say that likely. It's a crappy motorbike at the minute. I mean, a lot of people don't agree with it having the appeal of engine in it, but that's what it's got at the minute. They're making their own V4, which will come on stream even next year the year after. But in the meantime, they've got the pillar engine in it. It's got the horsepower, it definitely got the handling. And um, it just needs a good man in it, I think it's probably too late to do it. I mean, it's the only thing I'm involved with now in racing. Right. And, yeah. um, you keep your hand in. You certainly keep your hand on it, it's hard to get away from. I just, I really enjoy it because when, when I first went there, they were really at sea with the project and we've actually brought it together, so it, it's a nice, it's a nice thing. And um, I would think in the future, once they get the new V4 online, they will have a super stock team, which will be a great championship. But of course, at the minute, there's nowhere else really for the, for the norm to, to run. I think if they decided to run in BSP, they're making an arrangement to allow it. But at the minute, that's not what we're after. Um, the boss is gone, still gone, they just just put them in a TT. And um, I must admit, if, if we get to that stage, then I'm out of it. It's a great thing that, that the focus is so much on road racing with the Norton. That's a, that's a great thing for the sport. Eddie, you're the same. It's hard to give up the racing bug. You were. Uh, you were back in the winner's enclosure at the TT last year. It was in the classic TT. You were on the spanners with yeah, Ian Logger, uh, and he got on the podium. Yeah, we, we went two years ago, and we just had terrible grief from the word go. Gearbox was breaking, just the bikes are so old. So we just spent literally all last winter putting the bike together and um, totally refreshed it. And we went there just very, very more organized this or last year. And Literally, you know, we chose Ian as well because Ian's been around so long, reliable. You can, learn, you can have a bit of fun with Ian, as you all know. And um, But he's a real safe rider, you know he's got to come back. And um, we went off and the whole thing was just to go and enjoy ourselves. And we really enjoyed ourselves and we finished second to Bruce Dancy. So for me that was perfect, absolutely perfect. Brilliant. John, you've got a new motorbike for this year's TT. Uh, the new, the new Fireblade, Are you, you have had to ride a bike that was about eight years old in the last few years and you get your first test on the new Fireblade next week. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's exciting, you know, I've been on the same bike now for nine years. So, uh, my wife is ringing me and ringing me and ringing me. I hope it's not an emergency at home. <laughs> oh. Dinner's ready. Can I get ring back in five minutes? I'm just on stage. <laughs> Can I ring you back in five minutes? Seriously. <laughs> See you in a minute. <laughs> Sorry, she's having a meltdown. Uh, <laughs> what's the question? Oh, the new blade. Yeah, the new blade. It, it's it's looks very similar, but it's loads of little tweaks, little differences. Fly by wire, blipper boxes, quick shifters as standard, slightly different chassis. Uh, lighter, so yeah, it's. I needed some, you know. I've gone quite stale, really. I've been. I tried my best on the bikes, and I think we got the the best out of the old 08 bike, basically 08, 9, 10, right through to, you know. And I did 132.7 on it. I don't think there was any more left in that bike. So, uh, and I matched the times in 16, and I walked away happy. You know, I was on the podium in the press conference, and Hutch and Michael were having a bit of a diva meltdown stroke on the old uh, radio. 
and I was just sat there and somebody handed me a bottle of Corona and I just thought, you know, I'm happy to where, where I finished, you know, it was perfect. And uh, next year it's a little bit closer, it should be a step forward. So yeah, we're going testing next week with uh, my new teammate. I'm amazed you haven't mentioned Guy Martin so far, it's normally... Oh, I was getting around to that. Your new teammate has never won a TT. Sick of talking about that. I'm sick of talking about him. Of Are you going to let him win one? I might bollocks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. You'll have to... Uh, you'll have to earn one. Uh, but now the bike should be... The, that blade is a fantastic package and the old bike has been a, has done a, a mega job and by far the most successful bike around TT for a long, a long period of time. Uh, and we're just looking for this much and that's what the TT is like now, you know, we're just it's tenths, tenths of seconds here over each mile with this new bike and I have to believe it's going to be a winner. Uh, I'm sure it's definitely got lot more, loads of potential so uh, you know we've got four day testing in Spain and then we've got a couple four day tests in the UK and get a castle coup on a bumpy track trying to get the chassis, chassis working and uh, there's no real you haven't really got an idea until you head down braille, really. And that's uh, the first time we're going to... We're changing suspension as well, going from switching from shower suspension to, to all ins which I'm not met, really happy about, but uh, I've got my arm my back a little bit with politics, so uh, I've got, we've got to go that direction. But, uh, you know, it's good. I mean, it's exciting. It's good, you know, working with Guy, new bike. You know, it's, 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 it's poised. It's good, you know. Brooks is back on the norm. Butch has switched from Bradley to Dunlop. Michael's got on the Suzuki. So loads of cool things happening. And uh, I've just been going about my business quietly away. I was quite quite late signing my deal. I didn't really know what to do. I wasn't happy with a few things. And then we got a few things straightened out. And uh, now it's just full full focus on, on the job in hand. So yeah, looking forward to it. Well, I'm sure all your Irish fans wish you the very best of luck to this year's TT. As long as you don't go over 26. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, come on, say, they talk about it.